Раз, раз, раз. О, прекрасно. Доброго Good afternoon. We are glad to see you in the Ukraine Crisis Media Center, this press conference and discussion will be named the unknown Malevich. We will be talking about the documentary film which will soon we see on the screen. Its uh, working name is the Black Square. It won the ninth uh, uh, competition for the state funding. This is first f uh, full scope uh, documentary. This is a very important uh, fact. We had only TV versions before. We have many guests uh, who are very interesting figures, but our briefing is about unknown Malevich it is the title uh, so we will make you uh, uh, acquainted with uh, uh, very sensational piece of news which will be of uh, uh, influence on understanding of Malevich in the world and in Ukraine. I will not introduce all guests at once. Uh, I will ask questions. Uh, Oleg Sherbina, you are welcome. You are film producer. The basic question to you. Tell us, please, about the film in general. Where did you shoot? Why this topic of Malevich was chosen, as far as I understand? Uh, you uh submitted this idea long ago it was not just populism it was your decision uh, good afternoon yes we thought about this film for several years and uh, the author of idea was, was Olga Zaharova she is our co-producer and partner and uh, indeed we as Malevich uh, is a huge figure uh, of global scale, we didn't know how to approach him as an artist, uh, as historical figure, or as a philosopher. We were supported by the state agency only upon our second attempt. From the uh, our first attempt uh, uh, was evaluated with a score which was not sufficient. Uh, Eighty percent uh, uh, of uh, contribution of funding is provided by state agency of Ukraine and Pilgrim Film from Italy provides 20% uh, uh, of funding uh, uh, for shooting of the film. We are at the finalizing stage. We have completed uh, uh, the shootings formally because the documentary, uh, they have specific features. Uh, uh, so to collect uh, the footage uh, and uh, uh, we have enough footage uh, to produce the film uh, consistent with uh, the idea Tatiana Filevska and Vladimir Lutsky will tell more uh, and uh, anyway if we see that something interesting is happening and this film uh, has been surprising us from time to time, so we'll, we'll shoot some more uh, footage. But uh, we set the goal to complete the film by the end of February and then uh, we will be addressing the strategy of promoting the documentary via world and European festivals and in Ukraine we will be planning uh, to demonstrate it uh, in cinemas uh, 
uh, uh, this will depend on conjuncture very many ukrainian films are now running in cinemas uh, at the same time uh, western production films also are demonstrated there so in some of them will have the plan very precise plan uh, i have next question to mr pilipilenka head of the ukrainian state film agency uh, it is maybe surprising for your question why you have provided funding to this film indeed it was not me who made the decision to finance this film this film won the competition we have an independent commission selecting the films out of a huge number of uh, film ideas uh, i can comment on the selection why this film idea won because uh, uh, the idea of the film is relevant and we need to return such figures as Kazimir Malevich to Ukrainian cultural discourse like we do with other uh, such as uh, Alexander Davzhenko who uh, Russian Federation continued to position as a Soviet or even Russian uh, a film director, but he was not. Uh, and we do not understand the reasons why Russia is doing so. The second uh, reason underlying the decision of the Selection Commission was the experience uh, of uh, uh, produce a fresh production company has large experience of producing various contents uh, starting from melodrama series and ending with uh, art house uh, and uh, uh, distrib and cinema films uh, so the approach which was demonstrated also was of influence on our decision so uh, the other reason which concerns the state agency's approach to selection of the project we are deeply uh, we deeply believe uh, that uh, various genre films should be supported in the among documentary films we also try to support uh, various genres of documentaries this film is a discovery uh, documentary uh, and it was paid uh, not much attention in Ukraine. Uh, previously, more attention was paid to uh, report uh, film reports about recent events in Ukraine and uh, the discovery films among documentaries will be our priority. I knew that Pelipilenka is not the only person who decide uh, but I'd like to ask, uh, have you had any discussions in the committee about Malevich as a figure? Uh, UCMC uh, has been researching the topic of Malevich for a long time. When first time we raised this topic of Malevich, many people were saying Malevich is not Ukrainian by region. What for do we need to address his figure? No. Uh, we didn't have such discussions. Uh, uh, we thought about uh, the need to reprivatize, let's say, the posture this, of, of Malevich, the figure of Malevich in Ukrainian culture. Thanks God that we have persons uh, uh, in the state film agency who know that uh, Malevich is Ukrainian cultural uh, 
uh, Frig. I have next question to uh, Mr. Lutsky, Vladimir Lutsky, film director. I know that the film was shot not only in Ukraine, but also in Poland and in the USA. At the same time, I know that your figure is also internationally known. Uh, are you a Belarusian? Yes, I am. Uh, I have the question to the international contribution uh, component of this film, and what is your background as a, a B Belarus uh, citizen? What knowledge did you have, and what knowledge you have by now? Uh, I have not completed the film. Uh, you. Uh, yes, I understand the question, so thank you, good afternoon. My name is Vladimir Lutsky, I am a producer, film pro director from Minsk. I would like to thank Oleg Sherbina and Yulia Chernyavska film producers for granting me this uh, beautiful opportunity to work on this uh, documentary. My colleague, uh, a film producer who is work, uh, a film director who is very successful and highly educated person, he asked me what I am I working on now. I said that I am working on Kazimir Malevich documentary in Kiev. He said, oh, so this is beautiful, but uh, what Malevich uh, has in common with Ukraine? Even so, uh, deep uh, and intelligent intellectuals uh, who know the history of art, they do not know elementary things, not uh, mentioning other people who know that Malevich painted the black square and that's all. Malevich uh, was born in Kiev. He painted his first early works in Kiev. At the end of 1920s, he returned to Kiev uh, Arts uh, Institute of Arts. Uh, our film is about it. Uh, <coughs> about his work in Ukraine. Uh, the details will be provided by the author and creative producer. Yes, we will ask her. Of course, for me, there were uh, vast majority of uh, discoveries. There was an event which happened in the state archives in Kiev. Every time uh, having uh, the chance uh, uh, to communicate with our speakers, very interesting persons, I discover something about Malevich and uh, I am shocked. Uh, uh, because I understand that I do not know many things. Documentary films uh, are good uh, uh, because uh, we return the lost uh, pages of history uh, and we become enriched. Uh, what do you want from spectators? Uh, what uh, do you expect uh, would be the feeling upon watching the film? You should uh, have been included some your subjective ideas uh, um, into the documentary. So, what would you like the spectators uh, uh, to understand from the film? Very simple task uh, for people to know the truth. Who is Malevich? Uh, where he was born? Uh, everything uh, is uh, filled uh, uh, into a person in childhood. Uh, Ukrainian land provided to him the sense which uh, he would never be able to get in any other uh, area. He, 
he, in his pictures uh, there are no uh, bright colors uh, but when he returned to Ukraine, uh, in his uh, pictures we can see bright colors again. This is speaking of uh, very many things. Yes, I see uh, his uh, deep connection with folk art. Uh, and now uh, we come to the culmination of our today's discussion. The most interesting fact, uh, Tatiana Filevska is a researcher of the works by Kazimir Malevich. She found Ukrainian archives of Malevich uh, she, and she published it and she is the most active researcher of his works and creative producer and script writer of the documentary Malevich which we are talking about today. Uh, so I will not ask her because I know her. I will not ask her about crea creative producing and script writing, but I will ask her about her findings in the archives. I know uh, how uh, impressed she was. Uh, so Tanya, what? have you found what is your sensation thank you in recent year uh, my recent year they have been connected to malevich and there are very many surprises and it seemed uh, um, unprecedented that it is possible to find the archives which have been lost, which uh, were believed to have been lost 80 years ago, and but it was found after 80 years. There are facts about his birth. These facts which we found were an absolute surprise. We have been working on the project. Uh, and shooting the fragment about the birth of Malevich, uh, uh, we address the archives of Kiev city just to get confirmation of this work. We knew that he was born to in Kiev in 1879, as it is uh, documented in his matrix. Uh, the researchers worked in the archives and those documents were well known. He was born in the house of her aunt Maria Rzhukovska at Bolyonska uh, Street uh, uh, Building 15. We uh, came to the archives and uh, I started researching the documents uh, and uh, I found absolutely other information. I need technical support now from our technicians. I have the evidence, pieces of evidences. Please uh, uh, look at the screen. Here we see slides, and then we, uh, I will demonstrate you my presentation. I found the map of Kiev of uh, 1879. This is a map of Kiev when uh, Malevich was born. And here you see Zhilanska Street. It, it is at the end of uh, the city, it is uh, the last street. Next slide, please. So this is the address which we knew, uh, Bulyonska Street 15. This is the photo of uh, this house. This house uh, is not uh, uh, available now. Now the street uh, is named after Kazimir Malevich. Alexander has joined us. Please, you are welcome and uh, we will ask you to tell us about this event. So we are uh, uh, research the document, the cat catalogs of uh, uh, 
house owners. So I saw that in the ninth century, uh, this house did not uh, was uh, not connected to the Orzhakovsky family, uh, but. Uh, they had uh, not the, the house, but the whole mansion, mansion. mansion at Zhilanska Street. So we requested the documents uh, uh, for the Orzhokhovsky family uh, mansion. There we got to know that this estate uh, was owned by the family of Orzhokhovsky since nine, uh, 1871. It was eight years before the birth of Malevich and before the restructuration. You see uh, Zhilanska Street uh, and the crossroads with Pankivska, uh, this estate was uh, situated. Uh, we have three documents, three cases with uh, architectural designs of this uh, estate. We know that there was a wooden house uh, and two additional premises were added to it and also uh, some household premises, a big mansion of the uh, rich family uh, living in the section of Zhilanska Street in the prestigious area of the street. So Libetsky section was a prestigious uh, and rich part of the street. One house the neighbor in house was a political educational school for mm, teaching uh, uh, the citizens, uh, poor citizens. And you see uh, here the uh, guidebook uh, with addresses uh, in Kiev. Uh, so this is the register of uh, ownership rights for the houses. Uh, so uh, this was number 62 or 63 or 65, but uh, it was uh, uh, the house mm, located on Zhilanska Street. So today we can uh, declare to the world uh, that uh, uh, this uh, building, this house owned by this family uh, was located at Zhilanska Street. It is unavailable now, uh, like uh, all the buildings at the street, almost all the buildings in Zhilanska and Libitska streets in the center of the city. And here we can see the photos of the old Kiev. This is how Zhilanska looked like in 1960s. So to the right, top right photo, the, uh, the second house is the place where Orzhukovsky house was located. So uh, we see here the brick house and we can say that the wooden house was rebuilt. So. Uh, we the those uh, houses were ruined in 1979 in order to build new buildings. Uh, 
in 1980s. Uh, here we see uh, the buildings on Jil Jilanska Street, Antonovich, Rilski, and other well-known cultural figures uh, lived there. Uh, so this Malevich was born to the prestigious uh, art district. Uh, yes, uh, kind of uh, uh, area for scientists and artists. It was not the environment uh, of uh, some traders uh, or vendors. It was the place where uh, scientists and artists lived. Now we will show you a video. It was created by our designers and we will demonstrate you how these uh, maps were researched and interpolated. We would like to address uh, uh, the Kiev city leaders uh, as this place, this location should be marked by some memory plates uh, or in some other way. Otherwise, in order that we demonstrate to the world these findings of the location where Malevich was born, in fact, this is how Kiev uh, looked uh, like when Malevich was born and when in his childhood. We know that his family then moved to Sum Sumy, Chernigi, Vinnytska region. Uh, they moved from place to place, but every year they visited Kiev, and he saw Kiev like this. Uh, here we see Zelenska Street as it was. You see uh, the plan of uh, Rzhukovska family mansion. Uh, sh uh, she owned this from 1871 to 1889. Uh, this is the working material, working video shooting. That's uh, the same. Uh, uh, yes, we understood everything. Thank you. Everyone understood the importance of your discovery. I'd like to add that uh, the part of this video shooting will be a component of our documentary when we demonstrate uh, where this location uh, is on the map of modern Kiev. This is uh, at the crossroad. This is near Pankivska. Uh, the neighboring house of 1970s, it was uh, uh, partly uh, on the place of uh, Kiev Energa. Uh, modern Kiev Energa building and uh, other neighboring building. When we came to the place, Kiev Energo uh, experts, they said that they uh, backfilled uh, the old nine, 19th century brick uh, basement uh, recently and according to the ma map we saw that it uh, really coincides with the maps. Uh, not to have spoilers, uh, this is really sensational news, we will see it in the documentary. What this gives to Ukraine and to the world, what to do with your finding? All the world knew that he was born in one place, but now uh, 
uh, we get to, uh, we got information that he was born in the other street. Uh, at least ten researchers will be shocked. This is the prestige of Ukrainian researchers, Ukrainian science, that we are very good researchers because petty details sometimes play a huge role in the science now analyzing the situation with uh, his uh, birth, with Malevich's birth. Uh, this would mean certain environment uh, in which uh, he uh, spent his childhood I the vendors uh, or traders and now we can understand that he is from the environment of scientists and uh, artists uh, now we know real environment of him uh, he is very well researched um, identity personality but uh, for many times I tried to get information about Orzhokovsky family, but uh, it was very hard, we, and we do not know what happened to them after they left Kiev. So, so far we can provide new information uh, to the world uh, about Kazimir Malevich. Uh, Although he uh, was believed the thoroughly researched uh, artist, how we will be doing that? Uh, uh, in fact, today, in parallel with our press conference, uh, I submitted the article for Art Depend Independence uh, journal from Belgium. They have already published several sensations. We will be waiting for several days and uh, upon publication and we will see uh, whether this uh, news uh, will uh, get uh, some response uh, or get wide response. So. These petty details, uh, uh, this is a very big uh, uh, findings uh, about uh, Malevich of uh, Kiev period, Malevich life in his period when he stayed in Kiev. Very often Ukrainian sensations are more known in the West than in Ukraine. Uh, Mr. Our guest uh, will tell us, uh, Mr. Alexander Pavlov, uh, artist and writer, uh, Alexander Pavlov was the person who found Bullion Street. So you told the world the story which was known before Tatiana's finds. Uh, tell us a few words why you had this hypothesis and what did you feel when uh, Tatiana uh, found the other information? I lived uh, in uh, Malevich zone, in Malevich area all my life. Uh, uh, as for me, uh, he was living in some in individual world. Uh, I was um, very impressed how many artists were born in Kiev, uh, but uh, uh, Kiev was on some marginal circles. Uh, uh, for me, I lived next. Uh, I live in uh, Tereshenkovska Street. It was the zone of Velasquez of Repin. I lived in that year area, but the Ministry of Culture and Tourism. Uh, I th thousands of tourists in Holland, uh, they come to see, uh, to the sculpture of the peace in boy. And uh, 
uh, we have this uh, huge heritage, uh, huge spiritual area, and nobody is interested in it. Uh, some at some mo moment, Igor Dechenko said that uh, uh, Victoria Severinova, the sister of Malevich, is a patient of the hospital. She is 89 years old. Uh, let us take your car and go to Vishgorod near Kiev to her hospital and visit her. So we visited her in Vishgorod and to uh, her nephew, Mr. Zaitsev also was there, and then we uh, visited Bulyonska Street. I made several sketches. This is the building on the photo. This is the main face, and this is uh, my sketch. Uh, the the open door, the stairs, there was some design bureau there and some room in it, and Victoria Severinova, she said that Kaz Kazimir Malevich lived there and it was uh, his room. She named him Kazik. Uh, I uh, devoted one-fifth of my novel uh, to Kazimir Malevich, my uh, novel Snow on the Swamp. So uh, he, she said that it was uh, Kazimir's house. I made the uh, color sketch. It is now demonstrated in Arsenal Museum. But I want uh, to tell you, I heard the Tam Tycoons Alexander Bray, a patron, he wanted uh, to install a monument to Malevich. When it was, it was uh, when I was a child, a schoolboy. Uh, at the f fourth uh, Polish gymnasium place in the police garden, uh, when I was an architect in the Kiev project, architect Gorben Patskevich Irina. Uh, we plan to design a church. Uh, this uh, rem it remained at the master plan of Kiev. Uh, this church is available. Uh, we had to make a monument to Malevich. We didn't know the sculptor Sint uh, Silkevich. Uh, 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 made the design. It was a beautiful four-storied building there, and Victoria Severina said, uh, this is the building. You see here the walls are yellow, but everything was ruined by Paton Institute. Uh, Mr. Paton uh, did not want to uh, admit me. Uh, so I visited his uh, deputy. He asked me what I wanted. Uh, I uh, told him, uh, could you give us some a scrap metal, you have much of it. We want to install a monument to Kanzimir Malevich. Uh, suddenly, Miss Zorina uh, 
she was responsible for um, Department of Culture in the city, she said that uh, she got uh, 240,000 euros uh, for a monument for Malevich, and it was only one metal uh, uh, scene which was installed in his memory. I said that That Malevich lived at near Vladimir Lebitska, but the researcher Dukina she said that it was very interesting. So you didn't mean that he was born there? No, I meant that he was born there because Victoria Severina said so. But maybe she forgot something because of her old age. Uh, it was uh, uh, Miss Research Duhina who uh, was researching biography. So this house was bought for her, for Miss Arzuchowska. Uh, so this research, uh, uh, she decided that uh, he was born at Vladimir Lebitska, but not at Zelenska. You know that one German person uh, won in court uh, one picture of Malevich in Amsterdam. He asked, how did you get this uh, Malevich picture? Uh, some part of money he took and some part of money he gave to Zaitsev. Zaitsev did not give money for a memorial plate to Malevich. This the scene uh, that uh, these facts become known uh, and they will be solving to the owner of Ukraine. So a brief question because we are running out of time. So the question to you. Uh, you said that Ukrainians, they have a big history and uh, this is true, but in one sentence and uh, do we start to return our culture or we are just waiting for something? Do you see some progress? I do not see any progress. So in um, 1979, Malevich was born, and uh, uh, no one needs this culture, and this cannot be called a culture. Uh, Malevich provided pictures and Archipinka until the end. He believed that he is the citizen of Ukraine, and uh, he got uh, Ukrainian citizenship under Skaropatsky, and uh, I do not see any traces, any movement ahead. And it was started in the 80s, all the story about the house of Malevich. And uh, um, we tried to do something, but there was no spark. And, uh, and Alexander Bray, you should remember this name, he wanted to put a monument, and uh, uh, so this is uh, some individual efforts, but uh, no one needs culture here. This is evident, this is clear, as I see it. Uh, uh, the attitude towards um, uh, creative people, so uh, we live without culture, but we cannot live without culture. and. Uh, this is really important that we have such films, and uh, this film was supported by the budget financing and supported by such wonderful people, and uh, we have uh, one 
guest. So this is individual heroism, we believe. And I am a painter myself, and I believe that uh, all art is individual heroism. I understand that this is individual heroism of each one, and this is not an exception that the state financed this film. This is a systemic policy in the sphere of cinematography. This is a part of culture to develop and support national cinematography and uh, also other areas of culture. And uh, it is difficult not to notice this. And uh, this approach is biased. And uh, uh, we do not bear responsibility for the previous uh, power. But now there are evident changes. And I say it not because I'm an official figure. Uh, dear friends, so the support of the state, China has 10 kilometer uh, shops of artists that are supported by the state and, uh, and um, tens of uh, thousands of artists, uh, they are paid by the state and uh, they, uh, um, the state provides them fully and in golden age, uh, I do not want it to return, but 2% uh, uh, was paid by the customer to the painter. So the golden age is a difficult uh, thing for me. And I believe that uh, um, let's we have a wonderful precedent. We have a wonderful film. I believe we will see it soon. and. Uh, we provide the, the wonderful news for you, and I believe that you will support it and will spread it. And in Zhilansky, there will be pilgrimage, and uh, I, I believe that we will uh, uh, promote this idea. And uh, we have one more guest, uh, Gennady Kurochka, board member, co-founder of Ukraine Crisis Media Center, and we are today hosted by the center. And in order to sum up and to uh, go to this high level, I have a question to Gennady. I saw on Facebook last week that you had a battle, really heated debate. Mm, and you know that uh, Russia made the uh, tourist logo and uh, used the style of suprematism. And uh, oh, it is evident this is the uh, logo of the country, touristic logo. And Gennady was a person who really fought and said that this is wrong. And uh, also they uh, uh, took uh, uh, Crimea and Borsh. And uh, uh, this was also unpleasant about suprematism. And why? What is the difference whether Malevich is uh, Ukrainian or Russian? And uh, I read in the comments, they say, oh, just give them this Malevich. And why shouldn't we uh, give them this artist? What? It changes uh, if people know that Malevich was born in Kiev, in Ukraine, what it means for us, for people who are living today. Thank you, Lysia. Dear friends, I would like to raise another issue. Do you have doubts that Russian forces, that they would stop in Donbas if we didn't stop them? So. Uh, if uh, thousands of our servicemen, if they um, wouldn't stop them uh, militarily, what I wanted to say, Russians, they have such a strategy. They go until they are stopped. That's why this discourse whether Malevich is Russian, Ukrainian, maybe. This should be our joint achievement. This is an artist who has global roots. And honestly saying, I believe that 
this is uh, incorrect. When we speak about Malevich, we understand that some people believe that Alexander Tavshenko is uh, uh, Russian and uh, Borsh is already Russian dish and uh, they won't stop. They will never stop until they um, encompass all our cultural sphere. And Malevich as a figure, this is like a um, joker, like a card um, that is uh, underlying this uh, house of cards. And we, if we take him away, and uh, but we should state that his uh, uh, his uh, creative works, uh, uh, they are born here on our land, and uh, uh, after this, there won't be uh, those uh, uh, things about Borsh and other things. And what I wanted to say that uh, Malevich in the global uh, media area, Malevich is the icon of uh, Russian avant-garde, and uh, no one knows that he was born in Kiev and uh, that his uh, his story is connected with Ukraine. And this is, uh, some people say that this is the issue of money because Russians, they have uh, much more resources in order to promote their ideas, we may say Gazprom. But my answer uh, that this is not the case. The main uh, is the promotion of the idea and the promotion of truth. And what our leaders needed in, in order to rename uh, Borispol Airport in uh, um, Malevich Airport, they lacked political will to do this. And the civil society is much more progressive than uh, the power we have. And uh, all those uh, he ha ha and uh, I, uh, some people say they would be able to paint this uh, uh, black square by themselves. And uh, now we uh, have a discourse with these people. And uh, uh, it is really important that this fight is ongoing. And this is not only uh, outside of the state, but also the fight is going on uh, inside and uh, this film, Black Square, this is the answer of our opposition that uh, we oppose this, uh, um, uh, we deter this Russian invasion. Uh, so we thank our guests, we thank our team and uh, uh, Gennady Alexander, Philippe, and uh, I'm happy that this film uh, is uh, ready and uh, this uh, we were able to materialize our knowledge, we promote our ideas. Thank you very much for coming and I hope that and uh, we believe that information is everything today. So information is more important in our fight than weapons. So we believe that we will be able to make steps ahead and uh, the state and the city will help us to promote this information. And uh, we should have more information about them. And my personal opinion, if we win this fight inside the country, we will win this war. Um, in any other areas. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Dear colleagues, one remark. We will have a briefing now. That's why if you want to uh, uh, speak with the speakers, please.